what Gen Z is asking for is the same thing that every generation wanted. However, we just are more open about receiving it. And this is what we're going to do. And we're, we're very strict on setting those boundaries. My content is more surrounding, um, you know, the corporate work from home experience and basically how the last couple of years we've been able to navigate the shift that we've seen um, in our working worlds and our whole life sort of being uprooted. So, you know, poking fun at some certain things. My TikToks that I've created have kind of encapsulated the millennial experience and what it's like to be a millennial right now. Most millennials working in a corporate space. When the pandemic hit, I started making videos about working from home and the specific anxieties that I thought I was alone in. It turns out millions of other people also relate. I'm just starting a corporate job. We come into these roles and we're like at the bottom, we're analysts and we're starting, we're working our way up and starting to really build our career. So it's, I think it's super important that, you know, we just have each other to like learn from and see other experiences. And I think that's what's so great about social media and just the internet. So when it comes to being honest on social media, I think that you really need to sit back and ask yourself, what's my intention with this video? You know, am I posting this video in spite of something? Am I posting it to directly attack someone? Or am I posting it to bring an idea to light and maybe have some fun with it? When young people take to TikTok to kind of challenge these ideas of what we owe our companies or what our companies are giving to us, they are challenging the idea that it is ours alone to bear the, the kind of challenges of these workplace relations or ours alone to bear some sort of burden of shame for a relationship that is a relationship between us and our employer, right? And, and, and I think that they're challenging this idea that these emotions should be internalized and instead they're putting them out there for others to see. And, and I think it's a really great thing. We don't yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. I don't do fast pace because what fast pace ends up turning into is me working past my nine to five. What I'm doing is I'm really shedding light on things that that should just be normal. Not working past your nine to five, not burning yourself out over certain tasks and also making time for yourself and really working on finding that balance. <laughs> I think if managers were going to take away or, or executives were going to take away anything from my videos, it's that we want to prioritize our mental health, right? And, and a lot of people are starting to do that. And I think hopefully a lot of companies are, are catching on, but also that not everyone is the same. I've even worked in some management positions where I was hiring and I was told from upper management what they wanted specifically, like we want this specifically in a candidate um, and we want four of those. But at the end of the day, we are all humans with unique DNA who react differently to certain situations. So why would you want someone to lie about who they are, put them in that situation, work well under pressure, and then there's this burnout that is created and then they're wondering how the burnout's created. People are now showing resources that a lot of companies don't highlight on TikTok, right? And that's one person's whole niche is, you know, what human resources um, doesn't always talk about, you know, and that's the mental health resources. I don't know who needs to hear this, but being burnt out doesn't mean that you failed. It might just be the push you needed to reevaluate your priorities and start showing up for yourself the way that you continuously show up for My us. advice or how I see things or how I've structured my professional life works for me. It doesn't necessarily work for you and you might not agree with the values that I hold and I no might not agree with yours and that's okay. You don't need to adopt the same working structure, the same boundaries, the same values as the employee next to you. You don't need to take that on, but what you do need to do is figure out what yours look like. Otherwise, over time, you're just gonna be picking and picking and picking all things from other people and at the end of the day, you're gonna be this version of yourself that doesn't make sense for you. I think the younger generations realize the impact that companies can have on the earth, on human rights in general. And what I love about this younger generation though, is they're not just settling for the companies that say they're doing good, they are fact checking. And that to me is like the nicest thing ever because companies are performative, you know? They will say, oh, we're sustainable and green, you know, we support this movement. But when you fact check them, you realize that they don't. And I think that the younger generation is calling those things out we're in a place in our lives where it's like, we want something that aligns with us. I wanted to work at a company right out of college that really valued diversity and really was doing a lot to give back in underserved communities. 
And that was really important to me. Gen Z, like it or not, has had so much exposure to social media and to the world. They've had internet from the second they were born, right? I didn't have my first gateway computer until I was 11. So for them, I think they are always consuming this content of doing good. So I think that is giving them fulfillment and it's not all about the money. One of the most gratifying things about making a video is when I see a manager comment and saying, wow, this was really eye-opening. And overall, just when I see the word, I relate. To me, that is the strongest thing because at the end of the day, that's why I make content. Someone came up to me and they were like, hey, I was literally on the verge of about to quit my job. I just I just um, felt overworked. I felt like I wasn't appreciated. And they said, and you know what? By watching your videos, I realized that the only thing I needed to do was to go up to them and have a conversation with them and let them know how I felt. And now I'm at this job and I'm happier than ever because now those boundaries are really in place and they also, my job really respects my boundaries. I'm really passionate about um, content creation. I love it and I really, do see that it is, you know, making an impact.